is your ideal client? Your ideal client is, first of all, someone who pays you. It's not the people on your email list. It is not the people downloading your freebies. No, your ideal client is someone that is willing to pay you. So how do you figure out who this person is? Well, first of all, you need to have a problem you're solving. And it needs to be something that people are aware of. Your ideal client is problem aware. They are aware of their problem. Otherwise, they can't be a client. And they need to be looking for a solution. A lot of people have problems that they are aware of. Maybe they need to lose weight. Maybe they need to make more money. Maybe they need to declutter their home. And they're not interested. They're just not interested in solving this problem. So being problem aware is not enough. They need to be looking for a solution. Maybe not actively. It could be them browsing through the internet, seeing a post on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn or somewhere. And then they're like, oh, I am looking for something like this. And then they click. And the thing is, your ideal client is someone that you enjoy working with. You can imagine going with them and having a coffee or a lunch or dinner, or like me, I am currently in Lanzarote with 10 of my favorite clients. They are in my high-end mastermind red circle, women who are making multiple six figures and on their way to seven figures. They are my ideal clients. Many of them started with me at zero some years ago. So your ideal client is someone that you can hang out with at the pool. You can sit with them in a bus for a day and you can spend several days with them. That's how I want you to think about your ideal client. It's someone you actually enjoy spending some time with and they enjoy spending time with you, of course. And together you help them accelerate whatever they want to do. Your ideal client is problem aware, they are looking for a solution and you like spending time with them. But in addition to that, you need to know a lot more about your ideal client. And this is actually the exercise that I see most people avoid in the beginning of their business. They are not clear on who is their ideal client. Oh, it's women between 35 and 55. Great. Do you know how many women there are between 35 and 55? There are many. And your ideal client is not so many people. It is much better, even though it's counterintuitive, to think of your ideal client as one person. Anna, she's 44 years old. She lives in a little village in Germany. I can even find the village on Google Maps and come up with a name and imagine Anna living in this village. And then Anna is married to Mark. He's 45. And they met at university. They both studied engineering and they have two children. And we give those two children names and we decide their age. And you ask yourself, am I making all of this up? Yes. In the beginning, you are making all of this up. After you make it all up, you actually look for these people. Gradually, you will find her. And maybe you will not meet Anna. Maybe her name is Beatrix or Helga. But... Because you defined your ideal client very clearly, you're going to find that person and you're going to attract a lot of Annas and they are maybe not exactly like Anna, but they are similar to Anna, just like my clients in Red Circle. They are not all the same. They are from different countries, Czech Republic, Germany, Austria, Italy, Iceland, you name it. And they are in different ages between 35 and 55. Oh, there's that again. But still, on paper, I have one ideal client. And I define that ideal client so clearly that I can write two to three pages in font size 11 in Google Docs about this person. I describe her in so much detail that I know her intimately. And I don't know all these things maybe about my clients. But when I spend a lot of time with them, like I'm doing now at this retreat, I get to know them and I can add that to my ideal client description. What are their fears? What are their worries? What are they thinking about? What do they want? 
what have they done in the past five years that brought them to this point of having this problem and wanting a solution? The more and better you describe your ideal client, the more likely you are to find them and find a lot of them. And I know for so many, this is counterintuitive. You think that if you describe a big group of people, you're going to attract a big group of people, but it's the opposite. By defining one ideal client, you attract much more. So in the beginning, you make it up. But if you've had friends in the past with a problem you want to solve, you can pick a person. You can pick a real person. And once you have clients, you can pick a client. And you don't have to pick one. Sometimes I take three clients and I put them into one client. And now with AI, it's so easy. I put in my ideal client description and I brainstorm with AI. More problems, more solutions, fears, worries, what do they want? And from this, that's how our marketing message gets clearer and we find it easier to attract people that we like. The thing is, if your messaging is not exactly what your ideal client wants to hear, you cannot attract them. And so this is the one exercise that I ask everyone to do when they start in my programs is to do the ideal client exercise. And I don't care if you're just starting out in business or you've been in business for 10 years. This is probably the one exercise you have not done properly enough. And repeat it once a year. I repeat it every year because my ideal client, I wouldn't say they change so much every year, but I adapt, I grow. And I attract different people. So over the years, my ideal client has been gotten even clearer. I can now survey people that are my clients and I can create a new ideal client version. It's not so different than maybe from last year, but it gets better and better and better. And therefore my marketing message gets better and better and better. And so once you have that ideal client description, whether you're starting out or already further in business, Start to look for those people and find the real version of your ideal client. And over time, it improves and your marketing message gets better. If you like this video, then I suggest that you watch this one.